What's up guys, Todd here, and today I'm bringing in you guys a brand new commentary. I don't know what gameplay is in the background, but nevertheless, let's not focus too much on the gameplay. Today I'm going to bring you guys a few tips on how to uh, grow a successful YouTube channel, and this is for gaming by the way, and how to, you know, get that audience you want, and me talking myself, I haven't got the biggest amount of fan base. I've got 1,000 subscribers just over now. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you a few tips and tricks on how to grow just like I did, and I used the tips and tricks, and they actually helped me. Now, the first tip is thumbnails. What you're going to want to do, you, you're gonna need a thumbnail for your video. And what this, if you don't know what a thumbnail does, and most of you probably do, a thumbnail is the um, icon of the video. So just beside the title, you see a picture of the video, and that picture, if it's um, good, then obviously people, more people will click it, or anyway, more people are persuaded to click it. Uh, if it's bad, then obviously you're not going to click it. Now, if you look at some of the professional YouTubers, uh, such as Ali A, Syndicate, and, you know, all of those people like T Martin, Ali A, Syndicate, they have really nice thumbnails, and they're also, um, there are some websites to make them on, and one is Photoshop, it's not really a website, but you can obviously download it. Uh, second one is PicMonkey, which I use for mine, and it's cheap, it, you know, it's free. Uh, Photoshop, I have to actually pay for it. But anyway, you if you have a designer, then definitely get them to make you that thumbnail you need. Second thing is social media sites. Now, obviously, you've got Twitter, Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got all these social networking uh, sites that you can share your videos and channel onto to get your videos out there, such as me. I actually have a Twitter. If you want to go to my Twitter account, it is in the description below. I honestly just share my videos on there. Uh, Every time I've uploaded, I would obviously, even this one, I would, you know, type in on Twitter, I would tweet something new, I'd type in, oh, new video out, blah, 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 uh, go check it out, like, comment, and subscribe or something, and obviously I'll post it onto Twitter, and that can get your video, uh, you know, an extra 20 more views, depending on how many followers you have, to be honest, uh, I have about 400 followers, exactly, whilst I'm making this video, so, you know, I'd get about 20 views from it, uh, let's say, and the next thing is, um, is channel art now channel art and logo should i say channel art and logo are very important now this is like the front cover of a book if you see a book with a nice front cover then you're going to want to check out the um pages inside and whatever it's just the same for your videos if you have a nice channel art and logo this is really going to help your audience grow because your channel is on the home page and they click it they see your awesome banner and uh, logo and they would want to see your videos because you obviously look a lot more professional and this is where thumbnails comes in handy if they see your videos with really nice thumbnails and a really nice channel art and logo they're going to obviously watch you and maybe subscribe to you so that's what uh like three tips already i think uh the next tip is be active don't upload one video a week don't upload one video and then just leave it for another like three weeks or something unless that is your schedule um well, like I do, I sort of stick towards a schedule, or at, I at least am planning to. I sort of stick to uh, uploading at 6 o'clock, and this helps because your viewers actually know when you're uploading. So they obviously, you know, they have an idea when you're uploading. You could also announce when you're uploading on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. Uh, this can really help your uh, viewers, you know, keep in touch with you more. And, you know, and the next thing is be lively. If you're really quiet and down in your videos, then I don't think YouTube is the thing to you. Is the thing for you? Uh, I mean, I speak quite clearly, and another thing that comes in handy is a good microphone and a uh, good quality capture card. If you don't have a HD capture card or a good quality microphone, you won't gain subscribers. I'm just telling you that now. You won't gain subscribers. I mean, I'm using the Blue Snowball. If you want to check one out, I'll probably leave a link in the description, unless I forget. But yeah, the Blue Snowball is a very good microphone. I'm actually using it now. I'd recommend a pop filter with it. Uh, as, you know, it just reduces a lot of those P's and P's. Um, I don't actually have a pop filter, which is quite a shame. But yeah, HD content and a good microphone is always uh, worth watching on YouTube. I mean, there's no really... There's no point of getting an easy cap because it's not going to get you anywhere unless you want to, you know, start off YouTube and you try now just have s just to see how things are. Then I think an easy cap is the thing for you. But if you're more advanced towards YouTube and you sort of want to go in the professional way, then definitely recommend getting a really good mic. Uh, the Blue Snowball, by the way, is sixty pounds. Uh, I don't know how many dollars that is, but yeah. Also get a HD capture card. I'd recommend the Elgato Game Capture. And I think that's about it. I think I might have not mentioned anything 
uh, specifically, but obviously all these key points can help your channel grow. I mean, uh, you know, if you have a small channel and you really want it to grow, then I think these tips will definitely help you. Uh, so yeah, as always guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I should should have really explained more about being lively. I mean, if you want to be a good YouTuber, then be lively, you know, be energetic, keep your viewers entertained, because obviously the first five seconds of the video is uh, the choice they make, whether they want to watch it or go back to another video. But anyway, guys, it's been Top God HD here. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace out.